Your garage looks so organized and amazing. I was inspired. Nicely organized, E and K. Love your garage setup. So nice. I'm always impressed on how organized and how many tools you have. Thanks Liz for sponsoring this video. They have everything you can need for a garage reorg and we are going to take full advantage of that. <laughs> hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin and today we are going to share a literal dirty secret with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not really a secret uh, anymore because you saw the intro, but our <laughs> garage is an absolute disgrace. And we've just been living in it. We've just been managing it. And we no longer want to just make do. We want to make it right. Managing is also a very generous word to use. We've been just like slowly burying ourselves in our workshop. Oh, that's very true. And to really show you how bad things are, we're going to give you a little behind the scenes tour of our garage workshop. Yeah. I'm, I, no one's asked for it, but you're going to get to see it anyways. <laughs> Everyone wants to see a house tour, but you know what? You're going to see a crappy garage tour. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we're going to start off the tour with the one clean part of our garage. And then there's the rest. <laughs> things Welcome sure to my nightmare. <laughs> things sure have gotten a little bit more crowded since the last garage reorganization that we did. Well, you know, here's the thing. The storage hasn't been able to keep up with us. Things don't have a place. We produce projects really, really quickly. Yes, would you, would you like to see some of the old ones? We have a uh, zombie weapon. Two. One. Yep. We have a wonderful spin art machine. Whoa! 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 And there's there's just not enough space for the things that we are making. And I think part of it also is like the variety of projects we do that we have to be set up for. Yeah, I mean we have just in this area alone welding, woodworking, CNC. We have some home improvement stuff right there. We have. All of our resin supplies right there. It's a lot. Look at the CNC. There's a whole bunch of tools under this. We cannot get them. Yeah, I, I can get back here. It's really easy. You just climb past this table that we have stored back here. You go under this cable and then... No, never mind. I can't reach that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sure that there's stuff in here that we don't need. And then I think once that is gone, we can optimize the space so that we can use it more efficiently. And what's our third goal? <laughs> you, you wrote it down. And give everything a place yes. so that when we, we can put everything in its place. <laughs> I don't know. Words are hard, baby. It should be simple. <laughs> All right, let's start with a great garage purge of 2019. Let's do it. Okay, so before we get into it, let's Photoshop what we want the garage to actually look like. What we're thinking is a backdrop of gray gladiator cabinets, which may not sound too exciting, but when you think about the before, it looks really nice. Okay, we might at some point do maybe some fun colors in the front of the cabinets, maybe some vinyl stripes, but for now, let's see how this is looking with our current workbench and us in there for scale. <laughs> So accurate, Caitlin. <laughs> I think it'd be fun to add some decorative stuff. So we left a space here for our E and K marquee letters, light some of our art. This is the plan at least. Now we just have to get rid of everything to make this happen. All right, so right as we were preparing to get rid of everything, which is something we've been looking forward to for so long, we actually got something instead. Our gladiator shelves, or cabinets from Lowe's. Thank you, Lowe's. They're the sponsor of today's video, by the way. Um, the thing that we are struggling with has like, I'm, I'm trying to process like, what do we even say? How do I, how do I start? There's so much stuff. So I, I, I don't know how we're gonna film this, but I think that like, we just have to start somewhere. So we're just gonna start like picking things up, breaking things down and just like begin the purge. Descending into madness, and we haven't even started. We're yet. just at the beginning. We're gonna make a recycle category, a trash category, giveaway category, and a burn category. 
Why did we keep all this? Yeah, like so many tiny scraps and we were like, oh, we gotta keep that. Still haven't found the mystery goop. Concerning. I know. Did she make the goop? Supervisor supervising. Oh, hi. This is where she hangs out when we're in the shop. Hello. Oh, you're sweet, baby. Oh my God. Look what I found from our wedding. Such beautiful construction. So I attached this top board to this two by four, this two by four to this two by four with an inner panel of plywood right there. I think they call that a- um... Jank joint. <laughs> Yeah, kind of sad. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, not. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, trash pile. Ah! <laughs> the outside world. Oh. You okay? Oh, did you touch the goop? This has some goop on it. I wonder if we should tell the story of goop. <laughs> I don't know. Well, hi, goopy girl. I'll do it. One more goop to get in? I'll just tell the story of the goop real quick. So one time, the supervisor, so we, know, we used to let her out in the shop until this happened, the incident, but she came out to the shop and she found a really good hiding place. And when she finally came out, she was covered like her whole belly in a brown mystery goop that we had to struggle to get off of her. Yeah, and she did not like taking a bath and at we've all. Been, we've been trying to find that goop for months. And I, I think we might have found like a hint of it. Look, there's a little bit of it. There's some of the goop. There's some goop. Where's the source? Tell me. But we'll keep you posted. Find the mystery goop. Our neighbors are like, these people again. I'm trying to not make too much noise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Watch that front corner. How are we gonna fit it under the garage? Here, we'll rotate it. Oh, oh no, it doesn't fit. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Or drop it, no, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. You said catch it! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, moving these color panels out is kind of sad. I know. Just... You know we'll, we'll, we'll bring it back in some other way. Yeah. Should we end it for tonight? Yeah. Let's end it for tonight. <laughs> Bye. All right guys, so it's day two out here. We're making some good progress. We have wood over here and things are so clean over here. We moved things from one area to another. <laughs> yeah, but I have an update for you guys. I think I found the source of the goo. What? And I always, wonder, I always hoped it would make me feel better. But I think that's it right there. That? That or this. But I think it's that. There's so much on her. What is that, like a congealed bug? I think it's a congealed bug. Oh, we were pulling that out of her belly fluff with our hands. I know, I was hoping it would be less gross than it was. How is there so much on her? She must have just like rubbed back and forth on it or something. Like 20 bugs? They all die in a pile and then congealed and then they got on her belly. Ugh. Day three. Yeah, day two wasn't very eventful. It's mainly just finding the goop. But today we've kind of gotten to the point where we've taken care of a lot of the big low-hanging fruit items. We mostly pile them over there. <laughs> um, but so now it's time to go through all of the jam-packed areas that we thought we were using in an organized way and we clearly are not. Insert shots here. So, let's we'll keep going. I don't know, I don't know how to end it. What do you think? Not that, okay. All right, good morning, everyone. It is day four. How are you feeling, Caitlin? <laughs> I feel like we should have done a lot more work in four days, but it's it's just slow work. It's a lot of decisions to be made. Yeah, but I mean, like, a lot has changed. Look at this. We can walk 
around our workbench. Yay! Haven't been able to do that in months. <laughs> I know. And honestly, a lot of the stuff, we're like categorizing it. A lot yeah. of it's in the pile of stuff outside that we need to get rid of. Oh, hi, you want to help? Thank you, what a good helper. I'm helping. Yeah, a lot of it is inside the stuff we've gone through that we know we wanna keep. We just had to get it out of the garage because otherwise there'd be no walking space. Yeah. So like, it is progress, it's just slow progress. I'm ready to so, like, get into it today. The days so far have been two or three hours, but I think that oh, it's like, no, it's like actually- really make a difference today. Let's not set any expectations though, because <laughs> that's how you lead to disappointment. <laughs> So I think we're realizing that this is a little bit tougher than we expected. Mainly because, you know, a lot of the stuff that we have, it was it was not cheap. We bought it with good intent in, with good intentions. <laughs> like this, like this clamp right here. I bought it intending to use it for a drill press, but it's too heavy and we've never used it. Literally never used it. And it's like it. guilt just staring at us right in the face. Or more like half-finished engineering projects like this slider. It's like they're just like these reminders everywhere that I've been kind of like dreading, like dealing with. Cause like, if you ignore it, you're like, it's fine, it's fine. I might finish that camera slider one day. <laughs> one day, except it's rusty and it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I think, it's, I think it's healthy confronting your past and like dealing with it, like making a decision. Do yeah. I keep it, do I finish it or do I move on? Yeah. And it's, it's cathartic in a painful way. <laughs> it is day five. We're gonna do things. <laughs> At this point, you're probably wondering if this entire video is just time lapses of us removing stuff. We were wondering that too. But then, we got to the cabinets. All right, day six. Yeah, look at the progress. There's so much. Less. Less. <laughs> it looks so clean over here. And then there's this. <laughs> you there's know, <laughs> we knew a big portion of this would just be like moving things to temporary places. But the exciting thing today is we get to remove these old cabinets and install our new cabinets. I think we should probably move that old shelf before we Get rid of this though. But, so here's my worry with this is like, there's only two of us. How do we take this off the wall without it like falling? Because if one of us is unscrewing and trying to hold it up, that's gonna be hard to like. The good thing is this is installed with a, a board under here. So you can unscrew the cabinets first and one of us just needs to hold it against the wall oh, and then like, it'll all lift off of that. I mean. I still feel like it might <laughs> topple. We have our steel-toed boots on, though. I have what may or may not be a good idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, this is gonna be bad. We gotta move this. How do we get this in here? Sorry, that was a horrible noise. Beep, beep, <laughs> beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> Ah! Hey, we're free. Beep. Beep. Wait, 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 wait. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Are you doing your noise again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's where this is gonna go now. I'm slowly giving up on ever using this garage door for cars. Nope. I mean, yep. Yeah. I mean Yes. Oh no 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 no. What do you mean, no, no? Oh, it's held up with nails. It's all what? held up with nails, no screws. We're gonna have to like extract every single one of those. Oh, no, 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 no. Who would do that? I hate nails. Who are you? And where do you live? <laughs> they used to live here. <laughs> Dang it, that's gonna be. It's gonna suck. That's gonna suck a lot. It's gonna suck so much. Like, well, and also like holding it steady so it doesn't fall off as we're doing that. Can we like screw some in to hold it while well, we well, like well, jangle yeah. it around with the? Yeah, we can screw two in. Yeah, we can we'll... screw two in. Remove all the nails. 
<laughs> There's not enough room to swing your hammer in here either. Nope, that doesn't work. Uh... How many nails do we have? Come on! <laughs> I'll be here for like an hour. Oh, no, it's doing this, doing the thing. Move your headlamp down. <laughs> Can you see now? Is this is this good for you? <laughs> That's great. One nail, will she prevail? <laughs> this is such a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're just like added screws in random places. I think that this screw goes down into here. So I think we need to remove this screw before we can remove the top. Also, they like painted these together. So there's gonna be like a paint seal. Well, we can, we can. I know, I'm just annoyed. Just annoyed at everything that's wrong with these cabinets. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. We painted these cabinets. Ah! <laughs> Who would do that? <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Okay, so what is the game plan exactly? Unscrew it and let it fall to the floor. That actually might be okay. Or we can try to lift it. Should we try to like carefully? Maybe we should try to carefully lift it. Be prepared to jump out of the way just in case. All right. Now I think this side is free. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's free, it's free. Should we just try to lift it off? And then set it down. It's not free. It's not free, is this there- This one has a screw too. Oh wait. If it starts to fall, we Here. should both scream. <laughs> so the other one knows to get out of the way. Here, let me screw it back in. Yeah. <laughs> you should be good. Let go. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I feel it. I'll, I'll keep it pushed in. So you rotate so that you're lifting it from the side. You got it? I'm gonna use my head. Okay, now lift straight up. It's not lifting. Oh gosh. Okay. Let me know if you have it. I have it. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my god. Careful, goodness. careful. Knees, knees, knees. I'm using my knees. Okay. Should we get the sledgehammer now? <laughs> well, I mean, we gotta have one piece. There's no point, you know. Ah! Like shake out the arms. It's a good dance. <laughs> it's a good dance. He is now You don't know how attractive I am to you. Wait, no. You don't, you don't know how attractive I am to you right now. Baby! <laughs> oh! We did it. We got... We did it. The dang cabinet off. I don't know what day it is today, but I know it's the day that we finally installed the new cabinets. It's day seven. Bread and bread. I got the bread. Okay, yeah. How can I help you? Oh yeah. Ow. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm scared it was an eye. Yeah, me too. <laughs> One gladiator is in place. All right, and no one wants to watch us assemble all the rest, so. Evan bumped the camera on that last one. But look, didn't expect this, did you? Something different. And that's because we messed up. Okay, so. Evidently, we can't measure because the upper cabinets are 28 inches tall and we have not 28 inches. And so. <laughs> Unless we want to cut into the ceiling. Hey, I'll just climb up into the attic again. <laughs> yeah, and walk, then we'll have a hole. Okay, plan B. So we looked all over the place for another wall to put these upper cabinets on and it just didn't seem to work. And then we realized we can just scooch over the right big cabinet and turn these uppers into a set of uppers 
and lowers. And we actually really like how it looked. I mean, we had to rework some decorative items, but I think this is gonna work. Ready for the last one? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a really long day seven. But look at our freaking cabinets. We're gonna be able to store so much in here and it's unified, so it's gonna look good because we, we nice film in here. Drop, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put some cute stuff in here. Well, maybe like a little countertop right there and some lights. Yeah, like some fun stuff, which I know sounds kind of silly for a workshop, but like, this is where we film. Yeah. And where we spend lots of our time. So yeah. we want to nice. <laughs> All right, but I think that is a quest for day eight. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what, what was that? That was awkward wave. <laughs> <laughs> it's day eight of the garage renovation. Oh, I was gonna do, I was gonna do like a thing. Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna be a countertop very soon for this space over here. Caitlin's gonna cut me down. <laughs> Are we descending even more into madness? You're so silly. <laughs> okay. Let's operate some power tools. We have a counter. Hey. You can count on us. I think it's written somewhere that you just like aren't allowed to skip this part of a video in any project. No, you have to show it. You have to show it all. Oh yeah. <laughs> While we let this dry, he's organizing time. Hi, right, Caitlin. Are you excited for this next part? I'm, I'm so excited, like to my core. We get to reorganize all of this junk into the properly sorted workshop. So moving things into the cabinet, has probably been my favorite part of this whole process. It's like moving into a new house and you get to pick like, oh, the coffee mugs are gonna go here. Yeah. And this is where my cutting boards will go. It's never fun to move out of a house, but moving in. It's like kind of fun, yeah. Kind of fun, it's, it's kind, kind of, of exciting. It's like moved out and back into our garage. <laughs> oh my God. Jimmy dressed to cut kittens. I don't know if that's true or not. They're just kittens at his house. I see kittens. Oh! Okay. Anyways, we're getting distracted. We just kind of got to a stopping point on uh, the cabinets. I mean, there's still more that can go in there. There's still empty ones. But I think before we keep going, we have to deal with the elephant in the room, which the, is the entire other side the of the elephants. room. The <laughs> elephants. I think before we know like what goes down here and where all of this fits, I think we just need to start putting it all into place. Yeah, giant game of Tetris. Then it's probably heading over to Lowe's time till I get the last little bits of oh. storage and little decor and oh. organizers, Kayla. Oh. Organizers! Ah. I mean, I think the workbench, workbench first. first. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is looking official now. Oh, it's so official. It's like we need to move the things to get to the things. Yeah, it's like we, we're, we're just using we the garage door as, as a, wall. a wall. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here yet. You gotta wait for the final reveal. I'm supervising. Okay, there you go. I think this is the general layout I want. Big open space as much as we can, and all of the stuff we don't use over there. We can start doing our yoga out here. Is this the opening morning? The opening workshop. It's our first casualty of the garage right now. In my cup! I'm so sad. And you've had that cup for so long. How long have you had that cup? A really, really long time. Years! So Caitlin was organizing the wood storage and she had a really good idea for how to keep all of these like long miscellaneous things. We've, we, we were, this, this, 
This pipe was in our throwaway pile outside, but if you put it in there instead, you can store all the stuff. It's like we've literally had this problem and the solution in our garage the whole time, and we it just, just took like... We just couldn't get to either. <laughs> Night and day. Caitlin is not crazy. No, I'm just really happy. Yeah, this is looking so good. Look at that shot. Look at that. Look at that shot. Seeing things now and seeing all of the space we have, I'm honestly really surprised. I know we got rid of a lot, but there's so much space that's open. Most of these central cabinets aren't even filled yet. Like, oh. I don't understand fully. Also, another really cool thing is this is like, feels like a set, you know? We're getting there, guys. Next day, here we come. Okay, it's day uh, nine. nine. We're gonna go get stuff from Lowe's to finish off this garage project. Woo! I'm gonna get me some lights. I'm gonna get me some lights. We're gonna use some kitchen organizers to uh, organize our cabinet. Oh my God. I want this. You want that? <laughs> He's zooming. <laughs> All the stuff we got. <laughs> Some very necessary items. But I'm excited to uh, finish this up. Yeah. Montage mode? Montage mode. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is so ridiculous and yet so right. Oh. Whoa, that thing is bright. I am so down. <laughs> it's just like a glowing orb on camera. It looks really cool in person. Oh, you can't even see it? I can if I go to like ISO 200. Maybe we need to put a dimmer on it. Got a dimmer. Okay, so everything's done, but before we show you guys, we need to get approval from the supervisor. You can come in now. You can come in now. Oh, the grand lady makes her entrance. He looks different, huh? Where is Goop? Where are you gonna go hide? Going to the ugliest corner. <laughs> Thanks, Goop. Oh, you just wanna give the sponsor some more airtime. I'm sponsored. I know, right? You like it? It looks so different now. I escape. Yeah. Do you approve? <laughs> it's got the headbutt of approval. And she's gone now. She's in the cat dimension. <laughs> well, I guess we can give you guys the tour now. <laughs> all right, so this side over here, you've seen all of this stuff. There's nothing super interesting. There's nothing like new. It's just like efficiently organized. But yeah. let's show you the side you do want to see. I'm assuming that you're playing like heavenly choir music right now. Oh, yeah, because, definitely. Because this is so nice. This turned out better than I even thought. Yeah, it, it really looks super cute. Like, it's like our little set. I, I know, that was Evan's idea. <laughs> this is how I feel about this whole side over here. I love it so much. And I like, think about the before and after. Like, I, I, I don't even understand how this happened. And also there's like so much more space up here. There yeah. isn't all of the things in the way. It just like feels, I just like can't wait to make our next video here. It really is crazy though. I mean, it, looking back at these before shots, it came a really long way. Yeah, I just forgot how bad it was. And it just like gives me anxiety looking at the before and joy looking at the after. You like our cabinets? Okay, tour done. I'm bored. Here you go. I just want to wake up in the morning and just head to our garage and just sit there. And have and breakfast. <laughs> soak in the glory. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And if you didn't know, we have a gaming channel, Evan and Caitlin Gaming. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.